What's good, everyone? I am super late right now to sneak peek. We just finished filming Duel Nights with Ruggles, Sam, and Denzel. It was epic. Absolutely epic Duel Night of epic proportion. Today's video, we are going to sneak peek. It is the release of Splite Playmats. I mean, oh, oops, my bad. Did I just, did I just accidentally, did I just accidentally release? The Splite Playmats are back. The sneak peeks are back. Splite Playmats are back. So get yours right now. Holy shit. I was going to a crash. But the only thing I'll be crashing is my website because I know all of you are stopping this video right now to go get your Splite Playmats. So get yours right now while it lasts. I'm going to Locals right now. The tournament started 15 minutes ago. We are extremely late. I called and said, can you wait in 15 minutes? And they said, we'll do their best. So there's a very high chance we're going to enter the tournament, this round one, with a loss. But I believe that God got our back and we are going to be okay. Sir, I'm about to enter a tournament. You think I'm going to win? You think I'm going to win? Yeah! We have his blessing. The power of Z's is coursing through my veins. We're gonna win this duel. We're gonna win this tournament. I refuse to lose because we didn't win the last tournament we went to, and that's Haram. We're two minutes away. Hopefully, we don't get a loss, but I believe we're gonna win. Let's go. Right, here you go, guys. We're right here. Hella late. Yo, we just got there in time. 37 minutes. Holy fuck. Give it to our face. Oh, we gotta buy. We're good. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I have a massive, massive, massive surprise. Huge giveaway. Hey, can we be part of the giveaway? <laughs> Yo, do you guys want to be part of my giveaway? Yeah. Okay, the first person to spend $1,000 in Game Nation will get a high five. <laughs> Ready to duel? I had a date. Yeah, with my right hand. <laughs> date with my right hand? Now date with both my hands. Let's go. Because my opponent's going to catch his hand. Our Alich Synchro deck. To defeat none other than this Salaman great strategy with code talker stuff. Now this is going to be an amazing time to show you guys how beautiful this deck would look on a Splite Frog Playmat. Get your Splite Frog Playmats now, boys. I don't give a fuck. All of you watching this video, stop the video. Truthgaming.com. Get your Splite Mats. Because on these Splite Mats, anything is possible, baby. And no duelist is safe. No deck is safe, um, except for your deck, because you're playing on the beautiful point map. It'll offer you Divine Pen God Protection. Now here, on to game number two. I won game one, because I opened the Beardo Hand Trap and a whole bunch of stuff. You saw me there scrolling on my Twitter. Uh, I got some very beautiful girls on my DMs that to say hi to. And then we over here, he's going to add you know, lots of interruptions he's going to get here. Heat Soul's going to get lots of negates. Double Counter Trap set up. I go right Enchantress here. Ash. El Land. Uh, for trying to force in a gate here with this card because I'm just gonna pop his card with my golden lord. Uh, I activate another right of a here now. Like, dude, this is tough. Like, we just went through three hard negates. So, summon Zamini now, and then he gets Valor. I'm like, bro, there's no way. Like, that was so difficult to defeat. Like, we had everything, and then the Valor was just too much. If we could pass the Valor, we could have done it. Uh, here's you know, Foxy. I'm like, you know, what? I'm not gonna scoop though because I do have an extra normal summon in my hand. So, if I could just survive one turn, I believe I had a Rose Dragon in my hand as well. My hand was really nice. Uh, so if I could just survive one more turn here, we could uh, do pretty damn good. I had a scenario where I could have normal DD Carl Gorilla and Kishanima, but they also lost to Valor, so there's just no point there. We're going to go on to game number three over here. Game number three is going to be epic. An epic duel of epic proportions. Now, for all the duelists out there that are thinking, yo, Trip, where is the Master Duel at? I don't like TCG where it's Master Duel, but I like the vibes, though. Uh, yo, check out the Patreon, guys. On Patreon, we have lots of Master Duel content. That's why I'm trying to do mainly my Patreon stuff. Here, we're in a bad position because he's able to out my uh, zombie world. So I'm just keeping my Banshee on the field. And I want the zombie world to come out only when it's absolutely necessary. I do have interruptions. I have a Nibiru. So I'm just going to focus on my Nibiru. Let my Banshee hit the graveyard to still have access to my zombie world. So he can't go into Cybers after that. So I made sure to keep it. And I'm waiting for him to summon a Cybers. He did not. So I go Scar, I go Conquistador, I set up my cards. This is where this deck really thrives. This deck thrives in situations where uh, it has the capability of uh, utilizing the Lynx, the, the Golden Lands as monsters. Here I just enter battle, attack, attack, do as much damage as possible. Uh, time is going to be, could be a factor here and he has to do 4,000 points of damage. Uh, so I set up a, as big of a board as I humanly can. I bring a liner here to pop and then I go into Baron de Floor. Uh, pop his field spell. He protects it. I have Baron de Floor now. This is all. This is all planned. So Baron World Zombie, uh, Baron de Floor Zombie World plus my uh, cards in my hand will stop him. Uh, Stalio is the only card he had. I had a hand trap to stop that. Uh, so he goes into Salaman Great Wolf to bounce my Baron. This is totally fine. 
goes into another wolf. This is totally fine as well. Because I'm going to have all these traps set up. And I believe he's at like 3,000, 4,000 life points, something like that. I just attack this. I attack for an extra damage with Conquistador. I bounce some of his cards. I summon Lina. Time just got called. And that's going to be game. Pen best deck. Let's go. Yo, who would win in a fight between you two? Him. Is that true? Yeah, my mom said Maybe. So who would in a, win in a fight? All three of you guys or me? <laughs> Probably, I would say maybe a draw. Maybe a draw. Maybe a draw. Okay, we'll do a draw. draw. Why would I ever touch a Flunder player? Understandable. Okay, that's why we'll just call it a draw. Deal. All right, guys, so we ended up winning. Luckily, we came just in time and we won. Hi, what? Hi. Hey, what's it? There's one of my fans over here. Oh my gosh, even. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, my tattoo's fucked. My tattoo, literally, guys, my tattoo's off my skin now. I have to re get it done. Yeah, it's literally completely gone. The other one, the other one's better than this, but still kind of fucked. It has to peel up. Yeah, so literally, I have, to, I have to wait for this to fix itself. I have to go re get, I'm gonna re get it done. Yo, what's up, guys? This is the uh, behind the scenes of uh, Game Nation. This is the, uh, the number one uh, worker here. His name is Alan. No, this is number one. This guy, number one, right here. Right there? Like Yo, right you got a haircut! Yeah, I did. Yo, it looks fucking sick. Yo, can you guys call my friend Sosa handsome He's so you so can handsome. continue getting a sick haircut like this? So this so guy, hard. before I saw this, I saw this guy two days ago, looked like he didn't get a haircut in like three months. Three yeah, months, yeah, seven yeah, months. <laughs> seven <laughs> months. Definitely longer than three months. Bro, I get fades every week. Bro, stay no. fresh like this. You look insane. Yeah, how much it's is too much work, man. <laughs> Bro, it's worth. How much it of this is worth. Actually, Sorry? How much of this footage do you actually use? Like a solid 1%. <laughs> <laughs> like this for sure. No, yeah, this is not it. Oh, well, I'm definitely putting this in. Why not? <laughs> Wait, you said you have my mat? Yeah, let me put it on. Why? Guys, you know what that means, right? That means you guys have to go right now. www.tripgaming.com and buy a play mat. For the next one hour, that people will fall. Oh, the other <laughs> Guys. Yo, it's such a sick match. Yeah, amazing, amazing. Guys, for the next one hour only, whoever purchases this Beyond the Pencil playmat will also get a special feet pick from me. No socks, no socks. So make sure to get it now. Round number two of the beautiful Beyond the Pencil playmat. Oh, baby. Woo, look at that, bro. Absolutely beautiful. It does hurt me to see that Flunder is touching my beautiful playmat, but it's fine. These are, these are two generations of playmats here. Generation number two of my Magician playmat and generation number three of my Beyond the Pendulum playmat. So very beautiful. These playmats are done with Sam. So if you guys want to check out the Beyond the Pendulum playmats, display playmats will be this absolutely amazing quality. I really love these. What is not amazing quality though is my uh, angle. What kind of absolute trash angle that I put up here for you guys, but it's okay. Bear with me a bit, homies. Here, I play around everything because I'm the, just the fucking greatest you can play on the planet. I out this. Uh, I out the, the Dreaming Town in a very interesting way. Uh, Chaos Ruler, I'm, at this point, I'm just like, I'm just too good at this game. I, I'm hands down the best player in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. In fact, there should be a statue written in my name for how good I am at this game. OTK through that full flunder setup. I'm insane. He could have used his trap a little bit earlier, but I did it in a way where at any scenario, if he used his trap card, he was still extremely cooked, so it doesn't matter. So when you guys face flunder players, uh, give them opportunities to misplay, because you also keep in mind that uh, if he did flunder use his trap earlier, he was still cooked, so... Uh, there was he could even if he played perfect didn't matter here I'm gonna do a little setup here where I'm just doing as much as attack as possible He I, I had a dust I felt there was a dust coming But I did this whole setup over here knowing that Banshee is still gonna offer a lot uh, to stop him But it also he just bricked my Banshee would have zombie world his ass and win but GG up 2-0 now. We just need to win two more matches. I really hope I face another Flunder deck. Uh, one person in specific so I can absolutely obliterate him into tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. In the meantime, I need to go. It's, it is sneak peek. So I got to Yo, what's good? What's good? I need to go find myself a Splite Blue. In fact, I need to find three of them. Did anyone pull a Splite Blue? <laughs> Who said that? So you guys know how in schools there are bullies, right? You guys want to see me steal a slight a splite blue live? You have it on you? I have I died. Can I see it? Yeah. Content, yeah. <laughs> That's fine, I'll get it back. See you. Alright, so so far we have one card in our splite deck. We still need two more of one more of these. Does anyone else has anyone else have splite cards? For sale slash steal. You have two? Can I see it? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'll buy it, of course. All right. I'll check right now. Thank you, bro. I just checked the price. They're free. So now we have three Splite Jets and one gigantic Splite. 
So all we're missing now is three blues. Yo, for sure you guys don't have any gigantic, any nothing splite. I just pulled the starlight. Bro. Oh, nice. No splites. I know you got that dueling, but this is more important than Yu-Gi-Oh. No splites. Yeah, I know you guys are busy, but for sure no splites. No. Okay. <laughs> you got any more splites, bro? I can steal from you. You did you pull any splice today? Nah, I'm good. No? Okay. Did you pull any more? Oh, well, I got carrot. I got oh, one carrot. Can I have it? <laughs> I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'll buy it, bro. Don't worry. Yeah, it's free, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't we change? What? Well, because I want it now. You ever see? You like, oh, I don't need that one. Yeah, that one's for noobs that play anti spell. I don't need that one. Thank you. I do appreciate it. I will buy these for me. Yes, sir. Yeah, for free. Yeah. <laughs> for free. <laughs> Can I have a splice mattress? Sir. Sure. Yo, did you guys pull any splice cards? Yeah, no, I have not yet. Okay, can I have them when you're done? Sure. Thank you for free. For free, right? Yes, sir. What a good guy. Amazing guy. What are you? What are you talking about, Victor? Your shit. Can you believe this? Wow. The rudeness. All I do is compliment Victor on his big belly, and all he does is disrespect me. Do you guys believe this? I, I you know, I cried last night because you made fun of me. That's good. Like I cried myself to sleep. Well, I don't know. I, like, That's good. With one girl on each side. <laughs> Guys, I actually I was just joking around. I was giving back to Splite Jets. He just like actually just keep them. The world is so nice, man. I always assume because Ray's always so rude to me. <laughs> that I, you know what Ray told me right now? Ray told me, Steven, you stupid Macedonian, get the heck out of my store. But <laughs> well, he's still here. Yeah, they're my boys. I can't leave him. I can't leave him. Left hand or right hand? Left hand? It's gonna be like a dildo in one hand. <laughs> A bigger deal than another one. What do you need right now? Uh, a split? Red? A split? A split. Help. A split help. I have a magic trick. Yes. Give me the cards? Yes. Here you go. Okay. I have no idea what's going on, guys. Choose the hand. Right. You've lost the split off. Oh shit. But you gained a whole split back. <laughs> oh my splite cards we're only missing a few more now uh i need to get these i need to get the look at those oh my god uh, this is what you get man first off ray is the most nicest human being in the universe if you guys are in the toronto area you guys need to come to game nation absolutely amazing vibes here as you guys can tell we all have a blast we have just an amazing time playing this game and I'm just enjoying my Beyond the Pendulum. It feels so good to play on it. Uh, absolutely amazing. Facing off against my friend Morshed here. I'm going to set up the full Bear into Floor combo with extra defensive cards and setups. The card you see at the left is my Banish Pile. I'm putting them there because the Banish Pile is very important in this deck. You want to know at all times uh, how much Eldritch cards are gone. He activates Brian and Fusion. Uh, I'm like, dude, this is literally just totally fine. I have hand traps in my hand. My opponent is extremely cooked. Uh, I'm looking at scenarios, so I'm going to Mourner this. I end up hand trapping that, so you guys couldn't see there. I hand trap the Mourner. Oh, I'm sorry. I Mourner the Lubelion. I go into Scythe Lock with Baron to Floor, and this is just game. The only card I fear at this point is Mystic Mine. I save my Baron to Floor negate specifically for Mystic Mine, and I do think he should have saved his Mystic Mine as it's out, but at the same time, if he didn't uh, hope for Mystic Mine to win the duel, I would have Conquistador to just pop it, so there's really no answer for him to win. I uh, negate his card here, and this is nothing he can do. This is GG. We're going to go on to the next game. Uh, he is playing Blind Second Despia, so it's something to keep in mind. We have lost every dice roll today, but because he wants to go second, this works out for us because we want to go first, obviously. We're going to pop everything and just go for a game. So we're going to go on to game number two. And hey, I'm telling you guys, Beyond the Pendulum match, baby. <laughs> you already know what it is. Beautiful. And the Splite mats are available, so I can't wait to get the Splite mat into my house. Uh, and for everyone who ordered the Splite play mats, they have been shipped. They will be there for everyone. All Splite Mats have been shipped. They took a little longer than expected because there's just so many Splite Mats. Like the first order, there was so many. So it just was overwhelming. But officially, they are all sent. So uh, over here now, he's gonna, he just has to go first this time. He goes into Brand Infusion. Uh, he's going to do a whole bunch of stuff here. In my mind, I'm like, my hand is just insane. It doesn't even... Actually, I think my... No, my hand was shit. I remember specifically. I look at all this. I'm like, yo, my hand is fucking doo-doo. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get cooked here. Uh, you go double masquerade uh hoping the double masquerade will be enough to protect him from utter defeat uh, i believe that is will not be the case i go magician souls get some draws here i believe i did take some damage but i take the albion uh, the purpose behind is to crash to make only one masquerade left 
and I just set up some, all these sets are bluffs, they, I have nothing, and then I just lose, the, I, had, I had no answer, like, I, I really bricked here, uh, but it's okay, so we, we didn't break the entire tournament, so I'm like, you know, you're bound to break at some point, I power shuffle uh, to make sure I don't break this time around, and now we are going to uh, game number three, so game number three is very simple, uh, I firmly believe my deck is an infinitely better than Despia, so we're just going to put up as many negates as humanly possible, and uh, it's just going to be enough to defeat him, 100%. Uh, well, at least I assume so. We're going to set up Rite of Emissier, Magician Souls, draw two, uh, get out the Draco back, uh, get Itali, <laughs> Itali Souls, uh, it doesn't matter, Nibiru, Nibiru is a little early, uh, but it doesn't matter because I already had all the setup. Uh, the gigantic exploit is a token. I opt to pass here because I have a lot of hand traps in my hand. So I just opt to pass. He's super poly, he's a token. Attacks with these two. Uh, there's maybe two minutes left on the clock now and I'm at like 3,000 life points or 2,000 life points. So it's fine. I have a good setup. This is close here. He almost got me, but I go Chaos Ruler. Uh, 2,000 life points. I'll do as much as humanly damage as possible. I just summon Punisher. Uh, <laughs> Punisher in, in time is just insane. I use the fact to punish her to gain 6,000 attack points. Attack that he puts everything in defense. Um, take that with Anima. Attack for a game for 17,000 points. Oh, yeah, I mean, GG. All glory to God. All glory to Beyond Pendulum Playmat. Pen best deck. Let's go. Yo, guys, I have this problem. It's called fucking winning, bro. Why do I keep winning? I just want to lose so I go eat. Fuck, I guess it's a good problem. So we're facing up against my boy Ali. We're both the only X souls left. I win this, I win the tournament. GG. Yo, is this the Plunder Champion? Are you ready to do the finals right here? Absolutely. Let's go. Round number four. We got to defeat this. We're facing up against my boy Ali over here. This is Plunder versus Alit Synchro. So we're going to need to stop this. I saved my Ghost Ogre for his field spell, which the angle just cut off his field spell. Uh, so he wasn't able to continue going there. And on my turn, I'm just going to put up as much as negates as possible. But sorry, much as much as attack as possible. Because I recognize that his attack, he's almost dead. And I know he doesn't play Nibiru, so I just go punish a Chaos Ruler attack for game. And it's going to be a quick game one. Game one is in the books. He did not have a really good hand. He played, he, he made it so he could play around Baylor and Imperm. He's played, he played the similar field spell. But he did not play around Ghost Ogre. So Ghost Ogre really caught him there. Uh, so now we're going to go on to game number two. So... Uh, Flunder has the tendency to open either absolutely broken or absolutely garbage. So we'll see what he does here. He goes Rabina, Eagle, and Simorg. So it's very difficult to play around these interruptions at this scenario because uh, the Simorg stuff does help you play around interruptions a lot. Uh, I go Fateful into Griffin because Griffin's a win. So I want to enter the battle phase. On Griffin, he summons out the uh, Dreaming Town, the trap here to be able to bounce back to Griffin. I go Curse Ellen. Curse Ellen, I would like to get rid of the Barrier Statue and then he uses Harpy by the Storm. And I'm like, yeah, there's no answer. I have to heartbeat by the storm. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Like, if we were able to pop the barrier statue, and then uh, the game was over because that would show that the trap was not Harpy's Feather Storm. It would potentially be like an imprim or a droplet or something. So in that scenario, we're actually very well off. Uh, so over here, you just see me scrolling through my Instagram, looking through my stories, knowing damn well that I'm going first against Flandre that this duel's over. So I go right over here, here. I'm going to bring on Griffin. Griffin, right of him is here. That uh, gold magician soul, magician souls draw two. This is just golden. He DD crows my golden lord, so we're out of Elich cards, but I don't really care. I do need a tuner. I don't have a tuner. This is a downside. I summon out a bunch of monsters here to just have a good setup, but I have no tuners. I have no tuner access. No hand traps that are tuners. Nothing. Very unfortunate. So we just summon out a bunch of big monsters, and Zombie World's enough. Summon out a bunch of big monsters, and I go Zombie World. I'm going to protect the Zombie World with Griffin, which is life. So Griffin is only there to protect Zombie World. He goes MST on the Zombie World, I protect with Griffin, he goes Prosperity. At this point, as long as the Zombie World survives, we win the duel. He goes Prosperity and Duality, so he can't summon, and this is game. GG, let's go. Alright, let's go, baby, we won the tournament, let's go! Yo, I told you guys we were all playing for second place. Another victory for the Pentagon, let's go. Maybe, yo, next, yo, tomorrow should I actually play Pendulums? Yes. Splite it is. <laughs> but I only won because of this Beyond the Pendulum play match. So if you guys are if you guys are sleeping and didn't get it yet, that's, that's on you guys. That's on you guys. Plunder best deck. Plunder best deck. Plunder. After 17 decks. <laughs> Got him. And just like that, another tourney that we win. Today, it was nothing new. You know, our Elit Synchro deck, we destroyed everyone. And just in normal fashion, eat our favorite shawarma, shawarma rice. This time, your boy's hungry. So this time, I actually got two on rice because we're champions bro another another tournament another victory as i said and champions need to eat so today we're gonna eat this nice eat it delicious and then we're gonna go looking for the extra cards we need for our spike deck 
we're missing uh, three Swamp Frog, Ron and Toad, three Diva, and my list is insane. I'm even playing three Nimble Beaver. My list is literally crazy, like 18 hand traps. I don't even know how I fit everything in. My, my deck building is absurd. So I'm gonna go get all these cards, and then after that, uh, some hand traps are missing, some side deck cards are missing, some extra deck cards, and we're gonna clap everyone. Let's go. Yo, who finished uh, first place? Oh, myself. All right, all right, thanks, Alan. Yo, Ray, I'm just gonna take you to that first place. That's cool. Thanks. What? Be honest. What? Oh, Thanks. What? Oh, Bro, we haven't gone through everything yet. Oh, guys, an ulti. Rip it, rip it, rip it. Rip it? What if it's a. Yeah, you take that. Dude, you got me shooting to the camera. The one pack I pull is an ultra. I'm just. I'm just I didn't even want the ultra. I wanted all supers because I'm Superman. All three seasons. They're not. <laughs> so you're looking to purchase some cards? Yeah, your whole wallet, please. Yo, Alan, just in case uh, my people think I was talking shit, who won? Thank you. I just wanted to. I just enjoy hearing. You owed everyone. <laughs> Sorry, what do you say? You owed everyone. What? A, I love you, Alan. You're the best. You're the best. I clapped everyone up. In the world, I know. I agree. I agree. I truly am unstoppable. Don't, don't, don't wait on me then. That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They're everywhere, bro. TripGaming.com, get yours now.